Hello everyone and welcome, I'm the Sparrow's Journey and we are back on the forest. That thing with trees, wood, squirrels, rabbits and as far as I know we can now skip the introduction. We see a lot of red stuff, is that blood? Because the plan is not supposed to bleed I would say. Probably that's fuel. Let's try and skip the introduction, here we go, black screen, always good. We have new patch notes and I have been skipping at least two patch notes already. So I reckon there is a lot of stuff to check out and actually worth to record a video over. So you're wondering, what type of video am I actually looking forward to make? I am making a sort of a new season of a Let's Play on the Force, just like the ones before. The foot is still here, it isn't going anywhere. By the way, if you're wondering, I am playing with a gradient, the Blockbuster Warm Gradient, because that's the one I like most. I want to go through new stuff that we can actually play with. The girl is still, meh, all cool, um, thing with a hand, but here we go. The first thing I would want to tell you is something that I already picked up, which is the pedometer. It now tells us what is the temperature in whatever place we're on. Isn't that so useful? Honestly, I want useful stuff, not stuff that doesn't impact my gameplay in any way. I have read the patch notes, all of them, and I have here the most notorious beside me. But I kind of remember some of them. We can now, for instance, have a lot of lizards and rabbits in our inventory, which is always good. I like to kill animals and ha have their insides and whatnot. Let's hide the freaking pedometer because we are not pedos. <gasps> Purple berries. Are they poisonous? They're not. They're good. Let's eat them all. Let's pick up the bombs. The tennis balls, they're no longer infinitely bounce. Wow. I honestly love that change. Because... I like to feel that I'm in a real world with real physics. We now have flowers to pick up, where we already had flowers to pick up. But now you can make um, some sort of healing herb, or healing device, whatever that is in order to heal yourself, like this. You can pick up aloe vera and marigold, and you can make... I don't even know its name, meds. So you can now restore yourself with this. A new item. There's also other craft, new crafting items, which I'm gonna go through now. We have new female enemy type. And that's from, like, a very, very old patch now. But I'm just gonna go through all the patch notes that I haven't really experienced in my videos yet. I'm gonna kill all the animals because we know we will need them. We will need their body. That's strange. I know they fixed the houseboat. We can now build a houseboat and we, we could start there. I've played for around five minutes before recording and it seems that the cannibals don't spawn as much. That might have been tuned. Because the game was a little bit too hard, if you ask me. Not for me. <laughs> I own these guys. During the day, during the night, morning, whenever you want. Oh yeah, they added the rope. And this is pretty cool. I like the way they added the rope. Like suiciding ropes that people made. But they are all unused. What the hell? I would love to find some bodies on the ropes. Oh, here- oh. Oh, dear god. Holy shenanigans. Frack. Can I- No, it's my wife! So, we now have rope. What can we do with rope, you ask? A bow. That's a new thing. Finally, they added a bow. Something that people were really asking for. Is this a thing? An effigy? I saw a body earlier over this shack. Oh no, it's just arms. Okay. I am kind of sick of this music. They kind of try to give a meaning to the places when they add music. But actually there isn't much to it. Just passengers. Well, to a new player, that's okay. To an old, very old player like me. Oh my god, he saw me. That's nothing. Okay, let's run from them, because I want to show you some stuff, and killing those guys will be a time-consuming process. 
Yay, the music stopped. Isn't that great? So we now can craft a bow, and for that, you want to use, let's see, rope, a stick, and cloth. Here we go. I would say this is the, the biggest thing, the latest biggest thing on the forest. You now really feel like a survivor. Come on. What's the survivor if he doesn't just build a bow? It's like a default thing on a survival game, and if I was a survivor, I don't think I would be able to craft a bow, actually. I can still not use it because I need arrows, even though it does this animation. Poof. Imagination. Magic arrows. Poof. You gotta make arrows, and you can make arrows with stick and feathers. There's a real reason to kill birds now. You have to take their feathers from birds that don't go underground like that one. Isn't it cool in a surviving game to survive? I have to kill birds, sparrows, seagulls. I have a name of a bird and my survival depends on killing birds. Isn't that cool? There's a real reason to have birds all over the place now and I feel happy because now I have a reason to just slaughter them and finish their family and extinct them physics wise you can now just push things that's cool isn't it just the objects react to your position and your movements so you can just drag them like this Another thing, sharks now have ragdolls physics. That's pretty cool. No, really, that's pretty cool. No, this is pretty cool. I like to play with sharks. I need live near the sea. I always, always liked to mess up with sharks and place them in different positions, weird positions. But you can still not chop the shark's body. That's what I would want to do. Have his teeth. Make an axe with his teeth. Make um, knuckles with his teeth. Something like that. How hard is that to make? Eating it would probably not be a good idea. Because it, I feel like it has been here for a long while. But hey, you can now play with a shark body. We have new models, new female models. We have new art, like this one, a towel that someone used to come to the beach for some reason in a completely desert place far, far away from anything else. Does anyone actually live nearby? Because why would I be a survivor when there is civilization nearby? So... I'm gonna craft arrows, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm completely derailing over here. Oh no, not cloth. Now, this is a new item you can also craft, which I just by mistake stumbled upon, which is the torch. Isn't that cool? Another basic survival item, I would say, a torch. Something that you would make to survive the night and to see something in front of your nose. You can also attack with it, and you can also grab it. Wait, this this was a thing earlier when I tried. Wait a second, maybe near the water. Oh my god, come on. I laughed so hard at that. So, he was using the torch the same way the guy uses the spear in the forest. He was handling it like this. And he was just touching the fire like nothing. Can we use it on the water? Yes, we can. That's what, what Obama said. Arrows. And you gotta kill birds. A lot, a lot of birds to have feathers. Because that's what you need. You need five feathers in order to make four arrows. And I used just one stick. These are short arrows, dude. Okay, here we go. We can now use it. And we have no crosshair. But it aims right about where the, just the tip of the arrow is. A little bit higher. Let's try and kill that seagull. I love to kill birds. I love to kill the other species of birds. Because I want to be the only one in the world. 
Oh, good lord, that was totally wrong. Wait a second. This totally disagrees with what I said earlier. Okay, it's, it seems it's much higher than the tip of the arrow. I almost got that one. Come on, stand still. I can feel you want to be killed. There we go. Dude, this makes no sense. Aiming this low. To hit that high. Oh my god, he moved. He felt the danger. There we no, I, I'm a bad hunter. I didn't know this axe was here. Here we go, different type of axe. It's always cool to have different type of axes for di different type of occasions. Chopping bodies, killing rabbits, killing lizards, chopping down trees and whatnot. I like the other axe better. It feels more manly with all the blood going on. It's becoming nighttime and I barely did anything useful. There's more variation to female cannibal models. Added procedural breast size system. You will have different sizes of breasts in the female cannibals. A very, very urgent change in the game. I felt that I couldn't play the game without that. It didn't feel real. All the women have different breast sizes. There are ones with huge boobies. There are ones completely flat. Constructed bench now works and players can sit down to regain energy or watch the sunset. So the bench now can be usable and you can sit on it and it will restore energy. It's not just like the soda or the cassette player which I'm gonna get right now. I need to eat something. Here we go. I'm all stocked up. Look at that. I am like 15 minutes in the game and I'm all stocked up. I have a huge backpack. Okay, let's get to the yacht. I don't know if there's any sharks in there. I feel there is actually some content that I want to go through. Oh my god. That's a huge group of sharks. Please tell me they don't clip through the boat, because I can see that happen, and I'm not happy about it. Here's another axe, just like mine. Ha! <laughs> already have it. Can I have two of them? That would be overpower. Do I have the cassette player? Here we go. Now, the cassette player acts exactly the same. Now, I like this, okay? I, I find this funny. They add a rope to the boat, just because, yeah, it would make sense that you would find a rope in the boat but it is model exactly like the other ones that was all the purpose of it was to suicide so did the guy in the boat wanted to suicide as well either way we're gonna pick up the rope there are the sharks I can I make some arrows let's see if we can kill some sharks with the bow I don't even know if that's possible let's try and make more arrows I don't know how many can you make here we go. Eight arrows now. Okay, fair enough. It stacks. Let's try and hit some of them. Um, I feel I'm kind of too far. I haven't nailed yet where it points out at. Huh? Let's try one more time. It seems this shark is called Neo for Mat Matrix. And he can stop bull- HOLY SHENANIGANS! No! <laughs> this did not go like I planned. That's definitely Neo Shark. With powers. Oh my god, he's coming. He's coming for me! You not, will not get me! He's clipping through the boat. That is not fair. Come over here, Neo! You freaking took the blue pill, didn't you? Or was it the red one? Because you're stopping all my bullets. Ah, son of a bligglabadidor! Can we kill the turtle? Please. This I can kill. It will stand still, right? It stopped, but I don't think it's dead. There we go. Moved again. 
Holy shenanigans. I made a bow that I cannot use. I am so good. Dudes, I guess I just don't have that hunter part on in me. I don't know. <laughs> so I can't hit a turtle on the floor, moving like a snail. But I can clearly hit a seagull in the air, flying. That makes perfect sense.